Hi everybody, Harrybird22 here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, the Totem Pole Friendship Bracelet which looks like this and these um, these ones are really pretty and I think it's actually my favourite bracelet um, I made a few videos a little while ago and then when it came to uploading them well, they, they'd all gone so I couldn't upload them so I haven't made a video for a little while so, um, for this, i um, using, probably obviously, embroidery floss, like these. Um, and what you're going to need is our four colours. Um, so I've got a dark purple, light purple, a pink and a white. And you'll need to cut um, a length of each of these colours, a good arm span long, because this bracelet uses thread up really quickly so you don't want to run out um, then take them and fold them in half at the top I've made a if you can see, no you can't see that a loop at the top and tied them up and then clip them into your or down to wherever you're going to be working from um, then you're going to need to lay them out symmetrically so put like you can see I've done don't really need to explain that so, yeah, yeah, yeah. working inwards, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get started. I've done a couple of bit, so I'm going to zoom in on them just so you can see what hmm, it is. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, yeah, sorry. Hmm. Camera movement, there we go. Um, this pattern looks complicated, but it's really simple, so let's begin. So start off by, when you've laid your threads out, take this one, as you can see from here, and you're going to, this starts off like a, chev a chevron, so make a, not onto the one in from it. Might be a little bit wobbly, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. you pull the nuts nice and tight two so you do that side and then like a chevron you come back and do the other side too so I'm just working around my camera one one's getting in the way though two take it slowly it's a bit confusing at the beginning. Right. And then tie them in the middle together. And then just lay strands out again. Um, now, what we're going to do is going to forget about these two middle ones that you've just worked with for the minute. So I put them down the middle or something. And go over to the side you just, you started from first and take the furthest out one now, which is my light purple. And do a knot, um, in my case, onto the pink and the white. And then stop for a second and I'll come back to the next bit. Two. So that one's now in the middle. Whoa dear, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, um, so that one's now in the middle. Take your pink one on that side. And make a knot around the white one. And then leave that where it is. And then take your light purple again 
and tie that back round onto the pink. And then onto the white. This is the confusing part, so listen carefully. Um, and then, the more confusing, well, I hope not, take your purple one from that side, which is in the middle, dark purple in my case, and you'll tie that onto all three of these again. So onto the pink first. And onto the white. Should hopefully see the pattern merging now a bit. And then onto the light purple. And that's almost this side finished. But now we're gonna do need to do another knot back onto this purple, but going in the other direction. So You're just going back in on yourself now. Oh, sorry. And then onto the white. So you should end up in the middle. I'm just going to show you. Whoops. Knocking it over again. Just going to show you what that side looks like, and then we we'll just. I don't know whether you can see that very clearly, but that is what it should look like, hopefully. And as I said, we'll just repeat that on the other side. So, zoom out. I'll do that again with you because that's quite confusing that bit. So, move that one over to that side for a minute. Take your outer first out colour, like purple, and just tie it onto the pink. Next one in from it, and onto the row again. Do the white, um, yeah. And then onto, well, and then the pink onto the white. So you're sort of working in with all the colours, just um, cutting down how many knots you do each time. Then you take the light purple again, tie it onto, back onto the pink, surrounding it. Then onto the white, doing this slightly quicker, just so it's not too long. And then again you're taking the dark purple from the middle and tying it round all of them. Colour itself the pink. Then onto the white and onto the pur light purple. Okay, and then you're working back into the centre again. Just flat out my threads a bit. So, um, purple again. Then the white. And finally, onto the pink. Okay, last knot of the section. Take your two dark purples, in my case, in the middle, and just as you would in a chevron in the middle, tie them together. There we go. So hopefully you've understood that with my um, dodgy filming. Um, I'll hold it up so you can see if you haven't quite got it. See what it is looking like. So hopefully you can understand that. So, yep, once you've done, tie it off. I've done a big loop because I'm going to snip that middle bit and plait them. And then do one of my tie.
tightening things like this which if you don't know how to do them head over to my channel and you'll find all, lots of other videos and a video on that okay so guys thank you for watching please rate comment and subscribe bye